Good morning. This is Surbiton. So today is part of uh, a little series I'm doing at the moment, it seems, about places in Surrey before I come to the town of Surbiton, just on the outside of Kingston, by the Portsmouth Road. Quite, quite tricky to get parked, but I did find somewhere for that little tiny car. So let's go and have a look around and see what we see. With all this being said, let's wander. As you walk up the Portsmouth Road towards Kingston, you have the Seething Wells water filtration beds. They were decommissioned many years ago and they've become a home for all sorts of wildfowl. Turning right off the Portsmouth Road and onto the Brighton Road, I was struck by this mural which is outside the Lamb Pub. The Lamb's a live music venue. The landlady and the landlord also helped to organise a lot of the events in the local community too. There's also this really, really cool German ambulance out the front. I remember seeing this years ago. It's absolutely immaculate. There is also a great selection of pubs in Surbiton. First of all, this is coming from the gate, some old lintels from a long gone building. In 1648, Surbiton played host to a battle of the Civil War. During the Civil War, Surrey was much more in favour of the parliamentarian forces. In fact, the gunpowder mills in Chilworth, which we covered in an earlier video, were under control of Parliament. The failure of the Royalist revolt in Surrey was actually described by the Earl of Lauderdale as possibly the greatest disaster that had befallen the King's cause. So parks like these are really good for the local residents because it gives them somewhere green with some trees to get in amongst because somewhere like this is so very built up because they are getting closer and closer to London between London and the countryside. So Surrey obviously breaks off into the Surrey Hills at some point. Uh, I should know where because I live in it. <laughs> obviously after the Surrey Hills, like I say, you've got countryside before that, you've got all of this and leading into London where it becomes very, very much about building and stone and concrete and industry. Surbiton has been used as a setting for many TV shows and films. These include Night Train to Surbiton, filmed in 1965, which was a TV miniseries. If you're a fan of The Good Life from 1975, you may be familiar with Surbiton. And from 1997 to 2001, it was the setting for BBC Two's Stella Street. And Platform One of Surbiton Station the amazing Art Deco building was used for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in 2009. The station we see today was built in 1937, replacing the original building which was built in 1838. Stepping out of the station, red double-decker buses shuttle commuters off to Kingston-upon-Thames. Heading up St Mark's Hill you come to the Coronation Hall pub, so called because it was opened the day before the coronation of King George V, 21st of June 1911. It later became a cinema and then a bingo hall. About halfway down Victoria Road you come to the old post office, it was built in 1898.
Some interesting facts about Surbiton. Eric Clapton bought one of his first guitars at Bell's Music and he used to busk in the neighbourhood. 70s singer-songwriter David Essex used to live down Ditton Road. In the 1870s, Thomas Hardy, the novelist, lived in Hook Road, as did Enid Blyton. And one of my favourite paintings, Ophelia, by Sir John Everett Millay, was actually painted at the Hogs Mill, which is located in the Surbiton district of Tolworth, which is coming up in a later video. So I mentioned pubs earlier, I probably should have also mentioned restaurants and takeaways, because Serbian has them in abundance. You can get all of your usual fast food takeaway as well as some very fancy cuisine served in some of the restaurants throughout the town. Parking is at a premium in Surbiton, although you can get the train there, you can also get the bus, taxi and there are also rental bikes available. Okay, so that takes us to the end of our wander around Serbian. I hope you liked it, I hope you'll like, share, subscribe, and please do leave a comment, because as I've said before in the past, it's always good to hear from you people. So from me, Chris, Bubby, and Lila over in the corner there, who's got her farting armadillo toy, this was Lex Wonder, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, bye, bye.